Hello everyone and welcome to our Gainful series. Today we'll be covering the news from February 11th to 17th. Let's get started with our first five questions. Mobile wallet transactions in India have increased how many times to how many times in past five years? The Ministry of External Affairs has organized a training course for the officials of the government of which country under Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation Program. Petrotech 2019 has been organized where PM Modi served the third billionth meal of Akshay Patra Foundation at which place there, this is school Chandrodaya Mandir who has launched the Green Good Deeds campaign. Let's look at the answers here. The mobile wallet transaction has increased almost 40 times. The Ministry of External Affairs has organized a training course for the officials of the government of Nepal that was under Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation. The Petrotech 2019 was held in Greater Noida. PM Modi visited Vrindavan and that's where he served the third billionth meal of Akshapatra Foundation, Vrindavan Chandrodya Mandir. Union Minister Harshwand Vardhan, he started this Green Good Deeds. Yeah. Let's uh, move to the next one. This year, Jaipur based Sapt Shakti Command of Indian Army is conducting a two day joint humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise, Exercise Rahat. It is which edition of such exercise by Indian Defense Force? Winner of Best Picture in BAFTA 2019. Where has the World Sustainable Development Summit 2019 by the Energy and Resource Institute? Terry been organized. Who is appointed as the brand ambassador of India to Bhutan? Which Australian cricketer won Allen Border medal this year? Let's look at the answers here. We're talking about exercise Rahat. This was eighth such exercise. BAFTA best picture was Roma. The Terry, uh, the uh, World Sustainable Development Summit 2019, organized by Terry was at uh, New Delhi. Ruchira Kamboj was appointed the ambassador of India to Bhutan and Pat Cummins won Allen Border medal and Elisa Haley comfortably won the Belinda Clark award at as Australia's top woman cricketer. So Pat Cummins for Maine and Elisa Haley uh, won the Belinda Clark award. Let's move to the next one. Name the mascot for national game 2022 which will be held in Meghalaya. The International Day of Women and Girls has been organized on February what day? Name the manufacturing company of Chinook Helicopters. The 61st annual Grammy Award for the best pop performance duo went to which song? Dash becomes the first AICT approved B school in India to use blockchain technology to digitize its certification process. Let's look at the answers here. We're talking about the clouded leopard being the state animal of Meghalaya will be the mascot for the national game 2022. On February 11th, the United Nation partners worldwide women and girls marked International Day of Women and Girls in Science. India has received the first 415 Boeing companies Chinook helicopter that are ex expected to bolster the heavy lift capability of its air force and further strengthen the fast expanding defense ties with US. The 61st annual Grammy Award, we are talking about the song here. The best pop duo performance was Shallow, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. This is uh, the Grammy Awards that we are talking about. Uh, and Globsyn Business School became the first AICT approved B school in India to use blockchain technology to digitize its certification process. Let's move to the next. Swachh Shakti 2019 event was organized in which state? The national, the senior national badminton championship is organized where? Lower Arun Hydropower project is located where? Famous director, producer and script writer Vijay Bapa Nidu who died at the age of 82 was from which film industry and who has been named the ENY entrepreneur for the year 2018? Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about Prime Minister who was there in Kurukshetra to participate in Shakti 2019. Okay, so this, these were his visits in the state of Haryana. The Senior National Badminton Championship began in 
Guwahati. The event, which is being held in Guwahati after nine years, will see the participation of some top players, including Saina Nehwal, Sindhu, Samir Verma, uh, P. Kashyap, among others. The Indian government has proposed the construction of Lower Arun hydropower project in Nepal with capacity of 400 megawatt. This was earlier given to Brazil. They did not do some anything for almost 15 years. The project got cancelled and now India has offered to take it up. Ace Telugu director, producer and script writer Gutha Bapinidu Chaudhary, better known as Vijaya Bapinidu, passed away due to age-related ailments in Hyderabad. Siddharth Lal has been named as the ENY Entrepreneur of the Year 2018. Let's look at the next. Which state has initiated Sarthi Sandesh Vahini mission? Sanjay Subramanyam, winner of Israel's prestigious Dan David Prize for this year is a noted Indian. What? Recently, with which country has India signed a letter of intent to fight marine pollution? Uh, the first Lavoisia, the Law Association of Asia and Pacific, Human Rights Conference was held where Kerala Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan inaugurated the Institute of Advanced Virology at which place? Let's look at the answers now. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath flagged off 33 Sarthi Sandesh Vahini vehicle in Gorakhpur. It's a mission started by State Family Welfare Department with aim to spread awareness regarding family planning in urban and rural areas. Noted Indian historian Sanjay Subramanyam has won Israel's prestigious Dan David Prize for this year for his work on intercultural encounters between Asian, Europeans and people of North and South America during early modern era. In a bid to fight marine pollution, India has signed a letter of intent with Norwegian government. Now, the law association, this Lavasia in association with Bar Council of India, is pleased to invite the participation of members and legal profession in the first Loisha Human Rights Conference held in New Delhi. Kela Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan inaugurated the Institute of Advanced Virology IAV in Thiruvananth Puram. Let's move to the next one. Which tech company has announced the goal going online as leaders program? Recently, which country has scrapped the personal income tax for mothers of four or more children? Recently, which state has banned the popular front of India in the state to curb its anti-national activities? The two-day national conference on Unani medicine organized by the Central Council for Research in Unani Medicine as a part of third Unani Day celebration has been organized where National Productive Day has been observed on February what? Let's move to the next. Facebook announced the goal that is going online as leaders program. Hungary has scrapped personal income tax for mothers of four or more children and added a slew of other family friendly benefit in hope of sparking a baby boom. The Jharkhand government has banned the popular front of India in the state to curb its international activities and for keeping link with terror outfits like ISIS. Dr. Najma Heptullah, governor of Manipur, inaugurated two-day national conference on Unani medicine organized by Central Council of Research in Unani medicine as a part of third Unani Day celebration in New Delhi. National Productivity Council celebrated its 61st Foundation Day on February 12 as the Productivity Day. Let's move to the next one. State-owned power giant NTPC has said that it has signed a term loan agreement of 5,000 crore with which uh, say organization? Tredai YouthCon 19 conference was organized where the pilot project for the country's first intelligent traffic system was launched where recently which mass rover has been declared unfunctional and ended its 15 years of operation who has been appointed as the chairman and managing director cmd of air india let's look at the answers here we are talking about ntpc has signed long-term loan agreement of 5000 crore with state bank of india PM Narendra Modi address Kreda Youth Con at Talkatora Stadium in New Delhi. The pilot project for first intelligent traffic system ITS was launched in Gurugram. The NASA has officially called this time an Opportunity Mass Rover after a six-wheel robot landed on the Red Planet 15 years ago. 
Former Railway Board Chairman Ashwini Lohani has been appointed the Chairman and Managing Director of Air India. This is his second term. In his first term, almost 105 crore operating profit was made in financial year 17. Let's move to the next. Which state government has announced a universal old age pension scheme, Mukhya Mantri Vridhajan Pension Yojana for all people above 60 years of age? World Radio Day is observed on what day of February? Dash has been declared winner under Mini Ratna category, category 2, by Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. In which district is the first operationalized Godavari Mega Aqua Food Park in the state of Andhra Pradesh for fish and marine product processing located? Which artillery, artillery gun has been demonstrated by Indian Army at the annual exercise Topchi? Bihar government has talked about the Mukhya Mantri Vridha Jan Pension Yojana. UNESCO General Conference at its 36th session proclaimed 13 February as the World Radio Day. National Film Development Corporation of India has been declared winner under Mini Ratna category by Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Ministry of Food Processing has commissioned the first operationalized Godavari Mega Aqua Food Park in Andhra Pradesh located at Bheem, Bhimavaram West Godavari District. Using ultralight howitzer and indigenous Swati weapon locating radar, Indian Army demonstrated his artillery firepower at the annual exercise, exercise Topchi. Who has released a publication on climate action titled India's Fearheading Climate Solutions? The Union Cabinet has approved the MOU between India and which country for setting up of joint working group on counterterrorism. The Union Cabinet, chaired by PM Modi on February 13, has approved Dash metro rail project. The Union Cabinet has given its approval for MOU between India and which country on cooperation in the field of peaceful use of outer space. Which state has decided to set a 396 crore animal husbandry park, the biggest such multidisciplinary facility in Asia? Let's look at the answers. Union Minister of Environment, uh, Harsha Vardhan released a publication on climate action title India's Fearheading Climate Solution, which meets the key challenges India has taken under various sectors combating and adapting to climate change. The total goal of generating 175 gigawatt of renewable energy by 22, smart cities, electric vehicle, energy efficiency initiative, initiative leapfrogging from Bharat stage 4 to directly 6 emission norm by 2020 have been undertaken to minimize the impact of climate change. Some really good steps. The Union Cabinet has approved the MOU between India and Morocco for setting up of joint working group on counterterrorism. Union Cabinet has approved the Patna Metro Rail project. The total expected is 13,365.77 crore. The Union Cabinet has given approval for MOU between India and Finland on the cooperation in the field of peaceful use of outer space. A 396 crore animal husbandry park, the biggest such multidisciplinary facility in Asia with facilities for bovine, dairy, fishery resources will come at Salem in the Tamil Nadu. Okay, let's move to the next one. The first annual conference on media units was held where? Who is the winner of the 9th Hockey India Senior Women National Championship 2019 B Division? The portal launched by the Ministry of Ayush for online licensing of Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani and Homeopathy drugs and related matter. The Niti Ayog and Dash has signed a statement of intent to codify, document and share best practices to improve learning outcomes in public school education through systemic reform based on their collective experiences of working with various state governments in India. The Union Cabinet has approved the signing of Memorandum of Understanding between India and Argentina in which field? Let's look at the answers here. Information Broadcasting Minister Rajavardhan Singh Rathor asked Government Officer of India uh, of different media units to keep evolving themselves. He was chairing first annual conference of media units in New Delhi. Sports Authority of India beat Chandigarh to win 9th Hockey India Senior Women National Championship. Ministry of Ayush has launched the site e Oshadhi portal for the online licensing of Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani and homeopathy drug 
and related matter at New Delhi. The Niti Aayog and the Michael and Suzanne Dell Foundation signed a statement of intent to codify, document, and share best practices to improve learning outcomes in public school education through systemic reform. The Indian Cabinet has approved the signing of Memorandum of Understanding between India and Argentina in field of tourism. Recently, RBI has cleared which bank of any disparity in reporting bad loans known as divergence in market parlance, who has been appointed as the new election commissioner. Named the person who defeated IBM's project debater, the first AI system built to meaningfully debate humans at a public debate in Think 2019 event. Dash was named the female player of the year by International Hockey Federation player of the year 2018. In a first for IAF, the squadron of which Air Command has undertaken parallel taxi track operation with full women crew in Donia 228 aircraft. Let's look at the answers here. The RB has cleared Yes Bank of you know just clearing its name in any disparity in reporting bad loans known as divergence in the market parlance. Chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes Sushil Chandra has been appointed new election commissioner. Harish Natarajan, 2016 World Debating Champion Grand Finalist at a public debate Think 19 in San Francisco faced off with IBM's Project Debater, which according to the hardware company, the first intelligent system built to meaningfully debate humans. And okay, this guy defeated it. Netherlands Eva de Goed was named female player and Arthur von Doren of Belgium was the male player by the International Hockey Federation Player of the Year 2018. In a first for IAF, the Otter Squadron of West Air Command has undertaken that parallel taxi track operation with full women crew in Donia 228 aircraft. Let's look at the next. Who took over as the Chief of Staff Eastern Naval Command at Vishakhapatnam? Government of India has made a deal to buy around 72,400 assault rifles for different forces. Who is the manufacturer of these rifles? The government has approved how many years extension of the credit link capital subsidy and technology upgradation scheme for MSME with a total outlay of 2,900 crore. The two-day international dam safety conference was held where under which copyright rule now online platform will be required to compensate publishers and creators for the content that appear on their website. Let's look at the answers here. Why is Admiral S.N. Ghor Made assumed the charge as Chief of Staff Eastern Naval Command at Vishakhapatnam? Prior to this, he was the Director General of Naval Operation. The Indian government has signed a contract to equip the Indian Army with new assault rifle. Will be supplied by U.S. arms maker Sigsaur. Sigsaur FIG-716 rifle will replace the aging Indian-made INSAS rifle. The government has approved a three-year extension of the credit link capital subsidy and technology upgradation scheme for MSMEs with a total outlay of 2,900 crore. A two-day international dam safety conference concluded successfully in Bhubaneswar. Online platform will be required to compensate publishers and creators for the content that appear on their website under the new European Union copyright rule. So now. Facebook cannot you know, just uh, wash his hands off saying it's just a platform. They will be fined if some copyright violation is done. Okay, let's move to the next. Recently, Defense Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has signed the Defense Cooperation and Security Protection Agreement with Germany and which country during her visit there, who has been named as the head coach of India Under-23 team for the Asian Football Confederation AFC qualifier. Who has won the OSCAT award for the Animal Rights Organization Group for the Ethical Treatment of Animal PETA? The Interdisciplinary Medical Summit Medi -Inspire, Med Inspire 2019 was organized where Francis D'Souza, who passed away at the age of 64, was a what? Let's look at the answers. Uh, Nirmala Sitaraman, she signed this uh, security protection agreement with Germany and Sweden. Derek Pereira was named head coach of India under 23 team for Asian Football Confederation qualifiers slated to be held in Tashkent, Uzbekistan from March 22nd. Actor director Bradley Cooper has won Oscar award for from the animal rights organization PETA. 
the Maharashtra government Vidya Sagar Rao inaugurated interdisciplinary medical summit Med Inspire organized at Navi Mumbai. Former deputy CM of Goa and BJP MLA Francis De Souza passed away. He was 64. Let's look at the next one. Which global fintech company has won Financial Institution of the Year at the 8th edition of Small and Emerging Business Award 2019 held in New Delhi? With which bank has Amazon partnered to launch Amazon Pay UPI for Android users? PM Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of the defense corridor at which place recently? It is one of the six nodal point of UP defense corridor. Who has launched the book containing selected speeches of Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu? PM Narendra Modi flagged off the inaugural trip of India's first semi-high speed train Vande Bharat Express from New Delhi to where? Let's look at the answers now. Obopay, the global financial technology company providing enterprise solution for telcos, PFSIs, and companies with dominant supply chain focus has been awarded Financial Institution of the Year accolade at the 8th edition of Small and Emerging Business Award 2019 held in New Delhi. Amazon will be partnering with Access Bank to come up with Amazon Pay UPI for Android users. PM Modi launched various development projects over 2000 crore Jhansi in Uttar Pradesh. He led the foundation store for Defense Corridor. Jhansi is one of the six nodal points of the UP Defense Corridor. Former President Pranab Mukherjee released a book containing selected speeches of Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu at a function in New Delhi. Finally, we are talking about the Vande Bharat. The express will ply between Delhi and Varanasi. Let's look at the next. Name the first Indian woman flight engineer to be inducted by the Indian Air Force. Recently, the India-US commercial dialogue was held where who has released World Employment and Social Outlook Trend 2019? Name the new portal launched by the Inland Waterways of India that would ensure real-time information on available depth on stretches of national waterways. Now the e-tourist visa facility has been made applicable for how many countries? Let's look at the answers here. Flight Lieutenant Hina Jaiswal from Chandigarh scripted history by becoming the first Indian woman flight engineer to be inducted by the Indian Air Force. India and United States focus on job creation, technology transfer and greater bilateral investment at Indian-US commercial dialogue in New Delhi. Both nations decided to expand number of working group of chief executive with top US and Indian firm from 4 to 7 with a new focus on financial trade and investment as well as small and medium enterprises. We're talking about the world employment and social outlook trend. It's a report given by ILO. So it said in unemployment rates were anticipated to fall further to 4.9% this, this year, which is expected to hold steady in 2020, despite the fact that the number of jobless in a real term in estimated, is estimated to rise from 172 million to 174 in that time as the labor market expands. The Inland Waterways Authority of India launched a new portal, LADIS, that would ensure real-time information on available depth on stretches on national waterways. LADIS is Least Available Depth Information System. It will ensure real-time data on least available depth is disseminated for the ship, barge and cargo owners so that they can undertake transportation on national waterway in more planned way. The e-tourist visa is now applicable to 166 countries. What uniform national minimum wage per month has been recommended by an expert committee on determining the methodology for fixing the national minimum wage? Andrea Levy, who died at the age of 62, was a famous what? The Government of India, Government of Himachal Pradesh and World Bank has signed how many million dollar loan agreement to help bring clean and reliable drinking water to the citizens of Greater Shimla? who has inaugurated the 58th meeting of Central Geological Programming Board of Geological Survey of India in New Delhi and who is the winner of Hero Gold Cup 2019 tournament. Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about the uni uniform national minimum wage of 9,750 per month or a region-wise minimum wages ranging from 8,892 to 11,622 per month for five regions. Author of the book Small Island and the Long Song Andre Levy died from cancer at the age of 62. The Government of India, Government of Himachal Pradesh and World Bank signed a $40 million loan agreement to help bring clean and reliable drinking water to the citizens of Greater Shimla area.
Union Minister for Mine Naren Singh Tomar inaugurated 58th meeting of Central Geological Programming Board of Geological Survey of India in New Delhi. Myanmar defeated Nepal 3-1 to lift inaugural Hero Gold Cup football trophy at the Kalinga Stadium in Bhubaneswar. Let's move to the next. In order to cure sickle cell anemia, the government of India is constructing a research center where in Vidarva region. Vayu Shakti 2019 exercise was held where which state has made Sanskrit the official language of the state, the second official language of the state. Which municipal corporation has been awarded Swakshita Excellence Award 2019? Name the winner of Yonex Sunrise 83rd Senior National 2019 Woman Title. Title. Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about uh, Prime Minister said in order to conduct the research on sickle cell disease, a research center will be built at Chandrapur in Vidarbha region. He also flagged off Hamsafar Express connecting Ajni Nagpur to Pune train service through a video link. Vayu Shakti 2019 was held in Pokhran fire field firing range of Jaisalmer. The Himachal Pradesh Assembly has passed a bill to make Sanskrit the second official language of the state. Chhattisgarh Raigarh Municipal Corporation won the Swakshita Excellence Award 2019. And in badminton, Saina Nehwal won her fourth title at the UNX Senior 83rd Senior National Defeating PV Sindhu 21-18-21-15 in Guwahati. Saurav Verma completed hat-trick of title, claiming men's single crown after defeating Lakshya Sen in the straight game 21-18-21-13. Let's move to the next. Annadatta Sukhi Bhava Scheme 2019, a farmer welfare scheme belongs to which state? India has raised the basic custom duty to how many percent on all the goods imported from Pakistan with immediate effect following Pulwama terror attack? Who is the winner of in Irani Cup 2019? Which state has decided to make all government office paperless by 2021? and which state has recently conducted annual census of dolphin. Andhra Pradesh Agriculture Minister Somi Reddy Chandra Mohan Reddy said that around 54 lakh farmer will receive the benefit of Andata Sukhi Bhava scheme 2019. India has raised the custom duty to 200% imported or all the goods imported from Pakistan after the Pulawama terror attack. Vidarva defended their Irani Cup title after defeating rest of India team at the Jamta Stadium in Nagpur. All state government offices in Arunachal Pradesh will become paperless e-office by 2021. And finally, Odisha recent annual census on dolphin and its water have thrown up some shocking numbers. Aquatic mammals population declined from 469 to 259 this year. Recently, in which country has the International Gita Mahotsav been organized with assistance of the state of Haryana? Abdul Aziz Muhammad, the winner of prestigious Martin Enel Human Right Prize, UN Refugee Agency, UNHSRC, is a refugee from which country? Name the Indian who has been appointed as Controller Assistant Secretary General for Program Planning, Budget and Finance in the Management Strategy Policy and Compliance Department in UN. Where has the Indian Rhythmic Gymnastic Cup 2019 been organized? And former Bharatiya Janata Party legislator and former Deputy Speaker of which assembly Vishnu Surya Vag died at the age of 53? The answers, the Gita Mahotsav been organized in Port Louis, Mauritius concluded with the result that both Indian Mauritius will popularize and spread the message of Bhagavad Gita in the entire world. Abdul Aziz Muhammad, he was a Sudani refugee, you know, is held at Australia's notorious offshore Manus Island Processing Center for over five years. Chandramali Ramanathan has been appointed as the Controller Assistant Secretary General for Programming, Planning, Budget and Finance in the Management Strategy Policy and Compliance Department, UN spokesperson Stephen Duzarik said. The first two-day Indian Rhythmic Gymnastic Cup 2019 by Konda Lapali Krida Foundation has been conducted at Gaichiboli Indoor Stadium in Hyderabad. Former Bharatiya Janata Party legislator and former Deputy Speaker of Goa Assembly Vishnu Surya Vag died at Cape Town in South Africa after a prolonged illness.
Let's look at these. The two-day workshop on committee of creditors and institution of public faith was organized where how much amount will the World Bank provide to improve safety and operational performance of the 733 large dam across 18 states over the next 10 years? Recently, which finance education company has received the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India's insurance broking license to enter the insurance business? Dash and Saudi Center for International Strategic Partnership have agreed to provide continuing momentum to the India-Saudi Arabia Strategic Partnership. The fourth Agri-Leader Summit was organized by Haryana government at which place? Let's look at the answers here. The Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India jointly with State Bank of India and Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs organized a two-day workshop on Committee of Creditors and Institution of Public Faith on 15th and 16th February in Mumbai. The World Bank has accepted a proposal to provide 11,000 crore to India to improve safety and operational performances of 733 large dam across 18 states over the next 10 years. The money will be utilized under the ongoing dam rehabilitation and improvement program known as DRIP. IndiaMoneyInsurance.com, a subsidiary of Bang Bangalore based IndiaMoney.com group, has received Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India's insurance broking license to enter the insurance business. Niti Aayog and Saudi Center for International Strategic Partnership have agreed to provide continuing momentum to India Saudi Arabia strategic relationship. President Ramnath Kovin has praised Farmer of Haryana for adopting new methods to manage stubble and crop residue. He was addressing a closing ceremony of the 4th Agri Leadership Summit organized by Haryana government in Sonipat, Gannaur. The ecotourism circuit Pathanam Theta Gavi Vagaman Thekardi is located in which state? Around Dash, coastal and marine site have been identified as conservation or community reserve to increase the participation of local communities in governance. Name the digital learning platform launched by Infosys to offer learning and engagement experiences to engineering students of the country who took over as the new chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes CBDT in order to build the infrastructure for e-vehicle the government has prescribed to build electric charging station at every how many kilometers. Let's look at the answers. We are talking about the ecotourism circuit here. It is in Kerala. Around 106 coastal and marine sites have been identified as conservation or community reserve to increase participation of the local communities in government. The country's largest, second largest IT firm, Infosys, announced the launch of InfiTQ, a digital platform to offer learning and engagement experiences to engineering students in the country. IRS officer Pramod Chandra Modi took over as new chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes. He will be in office till June this year. The government has issued a set of guidelines to set up charging stations for electric vehicle across country outlining ways to build such filling points at every 25 kilometers. Archana Verma, who died at the age of 72, was a famous writer of wedge literature. PM Narendra Modi on February 17 has unveiled several development projects worth how many thousand crore during his visit to Bihar. PM Narendra Modi inaugurated four rural water supply scheme where during his visit to Jharkhand. Recently, Odisha CM Navin Patnaik has laid the foundation stone for Odisha Cancer Treatment Hospital and Research Center at Barang that will be set up with the assistance from which assistance from which organization Bruno Gans who died at the age of 77 was a famous what let's look at the answers here a famous Hindi writer who helped editing Hans magazine Archana Verma has passed away she was 72 years old PM Modi has talked about you know 33,000 crores worth of project in Baroni that is during his visit to uh, Patna and, and to Bihar. He has also given the you know go ahead for the metro rail project which will cost almost 13,365 crore. The Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi visited Hazari Bagh in Jharkhand on February 17th. He unveiled several development projects for Jharkhand. PM inaugurated four rural supply scheme in Ramgarh and Hazari Bagh district. Odisha CM Navin Patnak laid the foundation stone for Odisha Cancer Treatment and Research Center at Barang. It will be set up in assistance from Tata Trust. It is, will be on the line of Tata Memorial Hospital.
Bruno Ganz, the Swiss, uh, Swiss actor who played Adolf Hitler in the film Downfall, has died in Zurich at the age of 77. Okay, so with that, we will conclude our uh, this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next week's. Thank you very much.